Happy New Year! Now, last year for me was the year of productivity. And yes, I achieved a lot, um, including writing a book. If I told you that's available, uh, please go to georginaburnett.com for more details. Uh, but I don't mind admitting that it really took its toll as the stress levels were rising. So I have decided that this year needs to be the year of mindfulness for me. Now, it's a phrase I can't really get away from, and I started tiptoeing around it towards the end of last year, tried a bit of uh, meditation daily, and I'm kind of getting to grips with that. But one thing that occurred to me is actually a lot of the crafty things that I do are very mindful. I just need to make more time for them. So I thought I'd share some ideas with you that you could try out this year to become more mindful yourselves. Now, the first thing is obviously upcycling. Um, painting in itself is very meditative. And of course, you have that sense of accomplishment when you've finished an item and also the fact that you've recycled it as well. But another one that's very trendy is macrame. And this is basically the art of knotting. And uh, you could start off with a kit like this that gives you everything you need from the cord to the beads and the rings and also a guide as well and it's very simple so in its simplicity that means that it can be a very mindful craft. Another thing that my husband and I have been trying is painting by numbers so if you don't really consider yourself to be an artist get one of these kits. So you get the canvas that has all the uh, numbered sections. They're very minute, by the way, so it does take a little while. But you also get the numbered paint pots and the brushes as well. And this is some way to get really lost. And uh, you really don't have to think about anything else because you're concentrating so hard. So I think that's a really successful, uh, mindful craft. Also, crochet because for a lot of us, we're using our fingers a lot in a nervous way. And actually, if you can learn to crochet, this is something you could do when you're traveling, when you're just watching TV, and it can really help to calm the mind. Now, another thing, it's not really a craft, but as you all know, I love to do my litter picking marathons each year, but I'm actually gonna do that more on a, a regular basis, I've decided. I do walk a lot, and over the last year, I managed to um, get about 12,000 steps a day, and I've decided that I'm going to take my litter pickup with me wherever I go now as well. So just a few ideas as to how you can become more mindful this year and also a little bit productive at the same time.